Hey everyone, it's even bigger Jono. Welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. Last time we got here to Pacific Log Town, and then I said I was gonna go catch a Wailord and a Relicant. Well, I eventually did that after about three or three and a half hours. Uh, I found Wailord on level 26, and would you believe it, I caught it in a goddamn nest ball of all the balls I could have possibly caught it in. Um, and I caught this Relicant here as well. Uh, I caught that in just a regular Ultra Ball. Relicant didn't find... Well, sorry, Relicant didn't take as long as I thought it would to catch. Well, actually, sorry, Relicant didn't take as long... Well, it was actually... I found Relicant pretty quickly, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but Wailord, though, that piece of shit just gave me the shit so bad trying to find it. But, um, anyway, what I'm about to do here is regarding the Regis. You may recall the Regi Pokemon in Hoenn, Regiice, Registeel, and Regirock, or Regice, as some people call it. What you need to do, by the way, uh, there is absolutely nothing for us to do here in Pacific Dog Town, so we might as well just leave it, really. Uh, anyway, what we need to do here is before you leave Pacific Log Town, make sure that you have a Waylord in your party, a Relicant in your party, and a Pokemon that knows Dig. Just trust me on this, all right? You need those three Pokemon. Now, getting to the place that we need to go to, which is called the Sealed Chamber, is a gay puzzle. Yeah, another one of these puzzles that we have to go through that the Pokemon series just decides to piss us off with. Anyway. What we're gonna do is head up here and get around this guy here. Oh, what the heck? I got. You gotta be kidding me. Anyway, screw this gay life. Oh, God. Well, at least you've only got one Pokemon and it's a Sharpedo. Yeah, I'm, fr I'm freaking goddamn sick of seeing these things. I'm honestly sick of seeing tentacles as well. Tentacool is the bane of my existence. While I was looking for Waylord. Because Waylord only has a 1% appearance rate. And Tentacool had a 60% appearance rate. So you can imagine how annoyed I am at Tentacool right now. Anyway, Blazing is level 40 at last. Finally, I have a Pokemon in the level 40s. Alright, you know what? Blazing is getting way too much experience. I'm just gonna... I think I'll put Absol at the front of my party now because it's the lowest level of my Pokemon. Alright. Uh, I think it's this one we got to go on. I... Might have been wrong, but anyway. Right there is a rare candy. Hooray! Yes, another one of these. I'm not sure though. I think I think. No, it just kicks us straight back off. Okay. Uh crap. I hope I didn't do this wrong, because I hate doing this. It's just the most annoying thing. Like it wasn't already annoying enough to get to. They just decided to do this to us. And I was wrong, apparently. Yep, I was. I was wrong, but anyway, look, at least we get to get this item here. Positiveness, hooray! Okay, so we've got a star piece. Oh, uh, God, you know what? I swear to God, if I was wrong, I'd have to do this all over again. I'm going to be pissed off. Try and stay the, as low as possible. Yeah, okay, I'm, I went the right way this time. And now we're absolute jerks by putting us in front of this dude here. And... Yep, he's that trainer, that one trainer in every Pokemon game, that one fisherman in every Pokemon game, who has six Pokemon. One of them's a Magic Level 19 Magikarp. What? Considering we're this late in the game, and they're giving us Magikarps on level 19, mind you. Okay, never mind. Here's a Gyarados. That's okay. I can live with Gyarados. Alright, it's using Intimidate. I should probably start using a couple of Swords Dance as well as Gyarados is only level 21 because of, Yeah, just to get my attacks done up because if he's gonna have like a bunch of these, then I just might be in a little bit of trouble. Uh, let's see here. I might go another Swords Dance if he's only gonna be doing Thrash, I guess. Alright, it's, it's confused itself now, so... Uh, I'll just start going Shadow Ball, I guess. I mean, I've used two Swords Dances. I guess any Intimidate won't really do much of an effect now, so yeah. Okay, that's it. Alright, level 38. Sweet. Man, Absol's gonna wreck the Pokemon League. It really is. 
All right, another Gyarados. So maybe he's one of those trainers that uses a bunch of Gyarados. I don't quite know. All right, more Intimidate. Damn. Intimidate's going to be the end of me, isn't it? That's all right, though, because I have Swords Dance, so I'm not really too bothered by that. Man. Hopefully Absol can actually get to level 39 after this, though. That'll be, that'll be sweet. That's only if, though. I'd, I'd like all of my Pokemon to be at least level 41 by the time I get to the next gym fight. All of them, at least. That's like the bare minimum I want them to all to be at. Alright, so, yeah. Um... Anyway, I guess all we're fighting this guy can go over what Pokemon appear in on this route. You can find a Pokemon called Love Disc on this route. Now, I've mentioned before how bad Love Disc actually is. And if I can just bring up Love Disc's profile, one second, on Smogon, because Smogon, it really just, it explains everything you could possibly want to know about how bad Love Disc is. Here's what it says. We'll take a generic water type, give it crummy stats everywhere except for speed, give him a hit, give him a trait that doubles his speed in the rain, and the option to use agility and call of the day. Love Disc is great if you're playing with a battle timeout because its mere presence should cause your opponent to laugh at it for so long that you win the match. And I kid you not, that is exactly what it says. Uh, Charm turns Love Disc into a very sturdy physical wall that can make it survive two Caterpie tackles and force it to switch out. <clears throat> anyway, its checks and counters are actually pretty funny as well. Instead of listing Love Disc's counters, I'll list what Love Disc doesn't counter. That's it. Yeah, that is how bad Love Disc is. The whole Pokemon community just pretty much just laughs at its, at its existence. It is just such a terrible Pokemon. It is so goddamn bad. Like, it really is. It's such a terrible Pokemon. Well, I don't know. I don't even know why they even put this in the freaking game. And I probably should have switched out here because Absol's attack starting to get pretty low now with all these freaking Intimidates. Yeah, it's barely doing anything. And you should really be ashamed. Teaching your Gyarados that. Twister. Why would you teach your Gyarados Twister? What the heck is wrong with... Twister is a god-awful move even on Dragon-type Pokemon. And you're not even getting a same type attack bonus for it on Gyarados. Alright, so we killed him now. Alright, so Absol should go to level 39 now. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. So that fight wasn't so bad after all. You sank in defeat. Yes, you certainly did. Okay, so... Let's get on this block of land here. Uh, these guys are really easy to get around. Just specifically get this item here, though. Alright, so right there is a protein. Uh, just got to try and remember where to go from here. I think here is the spot. Oh no, no, no! I wasn't down far enough. Alright, essentially back to where we were now. What we're gonna do is head down to this square here. Yeah, remember how I said you probably need a Pokemon with Dive? I mean, with, uh, oh, you do need Dive as well. With Surf, Dive, uh, and Dig. Well, probably better to get a Pokemon with freaking Fly as well, just saying. Alright, let's, uh... Alright, now, what have we got here? Another Max Revive! Damn, they're really handing these things out like candy in this game, like, seriously. Alright, now I'm just gonna try and think where I've gotta go from here. Try here. Take me to an island! Oh, never mind! Uh, crap, um, I think it's this square, just trying to work out where, what square it was, take me there, yes, okay, thank god, now use dive here, 
go through here. Now, we're underwater, hooray, yes, as you can plainly tell. Now, the place we're about to go is... Well, uses Braille. You might remember this from Fire Red and Leaf Green. But you don't have to be able to read Braille to do this. I'll just read it out for you anyway. Right there it says, go up here. With a period at the end of it, I believe. It's so, okay. Let's go up. And here we are. Right here is a sealed chamber. There are no wild Pokemon that appear in here, I believe. This area... Tells a story. I'll read the story out. All these walls here, as you can see, have braille on them. This braille forms a paragraph which reads, In this cave we have lived. We owe all to the Pokemon. But we sealed the Pokemon away. We feared it. Those with courage, those with hope. Open a door. An eternal Pokemon awaits. Now, a lot of people think that the We Feed It comes from, well, is referencing the next game, which is Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Because It is Regigigas, and essentially Regigigas is the boss of all of these Pokemon. Now, what we have to do is use Dig right here. Now, to be totally honest, I have no idea how the hell a kid is supposed to do this. And anyway, it'll say, escape from here and go underwater, but... A door will open, and you'll notice that you're in the chamber here. What you're going to do, what we're going to do now, is if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire, you'll have to have Relicanth at the front of your party, and Wailord at the back of it. But in Emerald, you have to have Wailord at the front of your party, and Relicanth at the back of it, like so. Talk to this wall. Basically, this wall just says, first comes Relicanth and last comes Wailord. That's what it says in uh, Ruby and Sapphire, but in Emerald it says, first comes Wailord and last comes uh, Relicanth. We're in a moving truck again! It sounded as if a door opened somewhere far away. God. Okay, so, that is what you need Relicanth and Wailord for. That is all you need them for, but... It unlocks the doors to where all the Reggies are. Alright. So, because I'm a massive jerk, we aren't going to catch any of the Reggies until next episode, alright? Also, i got to say, I really love the music inside the sealed chamber. It's just so creepy and feels so mystical at the same time. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. But, um, yes. I guess, uh, we'll catch these Reggies in the leading episodes to come, alright? So... Next time on Pokemon Emerald, we'll go and catch some of these Reggies, alright? See you guys then.